Hello, my name is Alexandria Young and welcome to my flameworking studio. I am a glass blower. I would say in general I'm typically a craftsman, but I do some artistic stuff. I moved to Tucson for chemical engineering and I got about three quarters of the way through the program when I realized this is going to be boring. Um, so I stopped attending school and we were driving on the interstate and my mom's like, look, that building says glass blowing on the roof. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And then I went and I took a class and I kind of got addicted to it. It's like working with honey that's on fire. It moves in a way that you don't always anticipate and it's definitely got a mind of its own. Like sometimes it'll do exactly what you want it to. There's like days where you're just like, oh my God, nothing's working out, I should just stop. I've been flame working for almost three years and hot glass I've been working with for two years. With flame working, you're working with a torch and you start out with solid rods of glass that you manipulate into different shapes or patterns, whatever you're trying to do. And then with hot glass, you start out with molten glass that you scoop up out of a furnace. And then you take that and you shape it into whatever you're trying to make, whether it's something hollow like a vase or something solid like those figures that I make. My transition to doing figurative work has been fairly recent. I've always really love figure sculptures, um, particularly women, you'll notice that they're all female. Normally, anytime I'm gonna make something, I'll kind of have a plan in my mind and then I try to draw it out as best I can. For a while I was making these really long-necked kind of ridiculous bottles that are totally impractical and I really enjoyed the whimsicalness of having them be impractical. It's like this thing is pretty but it's not useful in any way, like you can't even put a flower in there because it's so narrow. My mom also works with glass and she works with a type of glass that's compatible with the type of glass that I use in the hot shop and my cousin's wedding was coming up and she was like, oh my god, we need to make something for her. And I said, well, why don't you make something and I'll turn it into a vase or something useful for her. So she made this really beautiful puddle of blue glass and then I chose a section from that and sliced it. The night before, I put it in the kiln and I set it to slowly warm up at about 100 degrees per hour until it got to around 1,000 degrees. So while that was sitting at 1,000 degrees, I started making a bubble of glass to roll it up on. So I took one gather, shaped it, put a little bubble in it, let it cool down because hot glass can only support so much of its own weight. So you have to let it cool down before you can go back in and get another layer. And it grows exponentially with all those layers. So very quickly, you can get a very large amount of glass. So while I was getting the second gather, I had that piece of glass ramping up to around 1400 degrees, which is where it's starting to move and be liquidy. I had my piece of glass relatively cold so it wouldn't deform while I was rolling it up. I wanted the circumference of the amount of glass that I had to be the right size to pick up this rectangle. After that, I started heating it and shaping it to smooth the pattern in and to cut off the very end so that it was all one piece of glass. I put a neckline in it, which is the constriction that's near the pipe so that it breaks off after it's done shaping. And then I had my partner blow into it to inflate it. I got the bottom how I wanted it, and then I had someone bring a punty over to me and I attached that to the bottom of the piece. Broke it off of the original blowpipe. Heated up the top and then opened it up to the flared shape that it is now. A cool thing about glass is that if you get it hot enough, you can cut it with some shears.
flame working, you have to wear a pair of didymium glasses. When you stick the glass into the flame, it shoots off this bright orange flare that's tough to look at, so the glasses cuts that out. I put stuff on my website, and if it's available, I'm happy to sell it and ship it. My Etsy store typically has like my flamework jewelry on it, so like jellyfish, earrings, that sort of thing. Find a glass studio that teaches, and definitely try it out and see if you like it. It's not for everyone. Some people get really scared of it. There's normally a studio somewhere nearby. It might not be in your town, but there's probably one at least in your state that you can go visit. Give it a shot, and if you like it, just do it. Do it a lot, because that's how you get good at it.